In this video, we'll go over how to properly change a household address when a student's family moved. Be sure to receive proper address verification, and also, when changing an address for a household, understand that it applies to the entire family. So if there are multiple siblings, make sure that the address applies to all siblings and members of the household. If it is the case where some family members are moving out, you may have to create a new household. We will begin by searching for the household, where the address will be changed. We'll click on the search icon, and we'll leave it at household search. We will click Advanced, and we will search by student number. We will put in a student's number and pull up Hazel Vallejo Martinez Family Household. They have moved from 69895 16th Street to 1110 West Gray Street, Apartment 11. We will click on the Household tab. When we click on the Household tab, we will see all of the different household tabs that go with this particular tab set. We are now on the Addresses tab. We can navigate to the Household Info tab, identify that we're changing it per the utility bill on February 13th, 25th, and then I will put my initials here indicating who changed it. Now I will navigate to the Household Addresses tab, click on Find New Address, and the address is 110 West Gray Street. Notice that when I put in 110 and I put in Gray and hit Search, the address comes up. But if I were to put in West Gray, nothing shows up in the search results. Always remember, less is more. The less you put in, the more likely you are to get results. Never put directional things like north, east, south, west, or put in street tags as necessary. So no street, avenue, or drive. So we'll put in 110, gray. Now that we've put in our search criteria, we see that all addresses tied to this location display. Now we could always narrow it down by putting in 11 and hitting search and notice that apartment 11 displays. We don't recommend putting in apartment numbers unless there's a lot of apartments and you really need to narrow it down. We will select apartment 11 and we will leave mailing checked. Mailing always should be checked on addresses unless stated otherwise. It has to be checked on the primary household. We will enter the start date, which is the date that they moved in. Secondary is never checked. Just as a reminder, secondary is never checked on the household level. Anytime a student has a secondary household, it is actually a secondary membership. So for example, a student's primary household may be with mom and a student's secondary household may be with dad. In that case, they would do that on the household members tab. So never check the secondary box on the household addresses level. Next, we will click save. After we click save, it notifies us that it will end date the primary address that was currently listed. We will click OK. See that the 69895 16th Street has been end dated and the new address is 110 West Gray Street. This concludes the tutorial on changing a household address in Infinite Campus.